Stroke Action Nigeria, in conjunction with Acho Foundation and IDA Stroke Awareness Foundation, has organized a holistic event to commemorate the 2019 World Stroke Day in Abuja. Dr. Sahid Alimi, a consultant neurologist, National Hospital Abuja, said stroke can be caused by a blockage of the blood vessel, leading to non-supply of blood to the brain, or a rupture of the artery leading to spilling of blood into the brain and making the brain not to function well. Stroke in Nigeria is on the increase as it is above. Studies that were done in Nigeria in the 60s as compared to studies that were done in the last uh, five years have shown not less than a five-fold increase. Five times increase in stroke in this country in the 60s as compared to now. So definitely there is a lot of increase in, in terms of uh, uh, stroke and worldwide, which the statistics are also relevant uh, to us. Uh, you see, in uh, you see stroke patients uh, worldwide. Maybe uh, you have almost about uh, 18 million people developing stroke every year. So that is significant and a lot of the body is also in the sub-Saharan Africa where Nigeria takes a huge uh, chunk. So no doubt uh, stroke is a, a significant uh, condition in our environment. Moya Sore Aya, founder of IDA Stroke Awareness Foundation, said the foundation has been able to organize stroke clinics in Abuja and Lagos to educate people on stroke factors and the preventive measures of stroke. Stroke is a condition, it's a disease in the brain when there's a disruption of blood in the brain and this can lead to stroke and um, we've been able to um, organize stroke clinics in Abuja, in Lagos to educate people about stroke and um, we're able to collaborate with Ministry of Health, National Hospital, um, Acha Foundation, Stroke Action and GAN and we've been able to reach out to a lot of people today and we've been educating them about the risk factors and the preventive measures of stroke. We had a walk in the hospital, we had a run in the hospital, we had health talks, we had um, health assessments. Then there's this app called Riscometer by World Stroke Organization. It helps you to determine your factor, your risk of having stroke in the next five years and ten years. And um, after using the Riscometer, then we'll lecture or would um, advise those that have some risk factors which may include smoking which may include alcohol but the main one is hypertension or if you have a high blood pressure so um, these risk factors help us to know the level of your risk factors and we encourage them and educate them on what and what not to do for his part mr oguke timothy co-founder of acha memorial foundation spoke on the need to sensitize people to stroke. Well, what stroke day is a day set aside is to sensitize, to sensitize people about stroke, the epidemic of stroke, which of course is a killer disease, just like you have HIV, breast cancer and the like. Stroke is also an epidemic that is before now not well known by people, but as it stands now, it's gaining awareness due to the creation of awareness done by SSOs and medical practitioners. Most times we go to communities, rural areas where they don't know or they don't have the amenities rather. For you and I here, we are in the city, people go to hospitals, there are hospital, hospitals are bound everywhere. But in these communities, the locals don't have hospitals, they don't have people to tell them things. So our work is to go to these local communities to um, inform, give them information about stroke, go with our medical practitioner like doctor, nurses, cardiologists to inform them and to take their BPs, tell them how they can check themselves by and also help them in dieting how they you know most of them eat things that they feel like especially carbohydrates so that these things are not too good for their body like they can clog the, the blood the veins so and these things are triggers of stroke so we do more of creation of uh, awareness creation to this locals to inform them about the uh, um, epidemic called stroke okay. government can do a lot a whole lot by creating awareness and joining hands with sso stroke support organizations to um, um, inform people about the stroke like they have the they have the media in their arms they have the funds to do this so they can partner with hospitals they can partner with stroke support organizations they can partner with war stroke organizations they can partner with a whole lot of health both the um what they call it the local hospitals in rural areas like the general hospitals they can set up a 
stroke unit in each of these hospitals to give people information, to test people, and to also the most important aspect of stroke is caregivers. Any family that has a family member with stroke do not find it easy. Sometimes it breaks a home because looking after these people, it's one big thing that people don't really realize because most of them don't have the funding and the funding is not enough. You just need someone to care for these people because depression sets in eventually and when that does set in, if the person is supposed to even live, let's say, 10, 15 years having stroke, because most of them don't get to survive this, because it's a brain attack. So, but when you have the family support around you, it gives you hope. But when they are depressed by people avoiding them, neglecting them, oh, you are a problem to this family, we can't keep, you You, you don't move around, somebody needs to take you around, somebody needs to bait you, somebody, you, they even pull in their houses there. So, this thing is a menace. And when there is nobody, there is no support coming from family members or caregivers, they end up dying on time. And it shouldn't be that way. A stroke survivor, Mrs. Oyinye Praise, has this to say. My advice is that whatever you're doing, Put your health on check. Always check your BP. Monitor what you're eating. Your salt intake is one of the risk factors that affect stroke. Monitor what you eat. Eat more of fruits and vegetables to help you in your health system. And when you when you feel dizzy, check your BP. Don't say ah, maybe it's because of the work or something. Always keep your BP on check. It will help you.